one day my friend called me, can you paint my belly? Because no one do belly paint in Hong Kong and then I start painting her. But before I paint her, I never uh, really learned art. I really learned painting, I never. So after I start belly paint, I think I need to learn some skills about painting on skin, on body. I went to the body painting festival in 2016 and that's why I start the body painting arts. Yeah, make me bear in mind is about the ingredients of the material, the safety of the material. Because before I paint her, no people do it. And the father, uh, quite a lot about what's in really inside the paint. Is it safe? Will it affect the baby? Anything? And then I really check the ingredients of the paints and the manufacturer, where is it from, everything. So, and, it's, and make sure it is good and safe. Now I learn some more professional skills and can paint many uh, more difficult and complicated design. And um, yeah, and also I can also apply my makeup skill on them when they have photos. Yeah, and for face painting, I do. Um, I not not just do for the kids. I also do in many corporate events or annual dinner for the adults. And actually, the adults they love a lot. But before I paint them, they just nervous. May I have some very very small one? Just small one is okay, not that big. But after I freestyle design for them, they love it. They never think, oh, it can be so pretty, it can be so professional, it can be so fast. Uh, the, in Hong Kong, the culture, the people is relatively conservative. They, they, but they love to have taking photo in studio. But when they show their belly, they, they, may, they may feel, oh, if it's really safe, it's really okay, if, um, it's really new in Hong Kong. So I, yeah, it's, at the beginning, it's quite difficult to, to let more people know about belly painting and also body painting. Uh, even I know some corporate jobs, they have the body painting, they all with bra and underwear, not neck. Yeah, so in, yeah, it's still not that not common in Hong Kong. Today, uh, I will, because the environment, the garden is beautiful, so I think, and also you're expecting a girl, so I plan to paint something and also I know your wife loves some small flower so I will paint something girlish style and if you have expect a name for your girl already I may write the name if no maybe uh, write um, uh, love you or welcome or love yeah some some simple message that's what you want to pass to your baby In Hong Kong, I hope uh, it can keep changing. More people will be more patient for a big piece for, for events or photo or video. And also the people, the, the, the models that love, yeah, they love the arts, yeah. I think my style is quite, um, I also would like to, to, to match the design with the eyes, with the nose and also the mouth. I, I, I do paint myself. Uh, for example, I paint a cartoon character here, and then when I'm, my eyes uh, open and close, then it, the, the character will move as well. And I think this is this is a style that I would like. Not just a painting on the face; it really use it really include a feature on the face, the eye, the nose, the mouth, and this is a whole story on the face. Yeah. Where would you like to be in ten years' time? My goal is I hope I can keep painting. I just, very simply, I hope I can keep painting because Hong Kong is a very competitive city. I, I do suggest this for some pregnant mama in Hong Kong, but they are quite shy to do it outdoor. So I'm so happy that today I, I can paint here. And not just for my, for, and not just for promotion, to be honest, I, I really hope more people know about this art because this is a very special moment. After the baby come out, you can no more have belly pains, okay? It's really, you can take photos every time when you have the, when the baby is born out, you can still take some family photo. But for the belly pain, it's just really during the pregnancy moment. I dream about painting something about Hong Kong. Uh, because sometimes it's quite sad about the Hong Kong political life now. You know the umbrella revolution? 
something about that revolution and also the life in Hong Kong on the body painting, including um, the faces of the people, uh, the faces of the kids in Hong Kong, but um, and also some ha what what the happiness and also the unhappiness, the life generally the life. Yeah, this one thing I dream about one day. Hope I maybe one day I can do it. <laughs> Why on a body? Um, because body is a moving art, is a living art. Maybe the facial expression of the model can also help to express the idea. For example, for example, if I paint something sad at the front, and then the model also show a sad face, oh, like this, it will make you more impressive. If I paint something happy, then the face and the movement of the body make the make the arts more impressive yeah with life not just a picture not just a photo not just a canvas on the wall i think it's many many on the on the internet already mm, i think um to be honest a body painting model in my mind is the most professional model among all all the models because they have to keep still for a number of hours being painted and after painted still feeling relaxed and enjoy being shooted or yeah still so the model yeah have to be very also an important role in, the, in my dream I think I prefer painting women women the body movement or the body shape everything is uh, so far I didn't paint the lower body parts of men I <laughs> still not get used to it. I think painting female is more comfortable for me. <laughs> Male models in the festival, for especially the special effects, they would like to show some strong creature. I think male model is good for those. I think a man mainly paint some cool design, but for ladies, for women, they can have cool design and also feminine design but you cannot try feminine design on a man you have to paint something cool or strong if someone is watching this video and they think oh i'd love to get involved in body painting but um it seems too difficult oh. uh, or they don't know where to start okay. what advice would you give them mm, i think first you have to love it you have to love it if you just think oh this one for example face painting Oh, this one can make money. You won't keep on it. Yeah, if no business, then you will give up. I keep searching. I keep finding some references. I keep uh, following some master artist works because I would like to paint better and better and better, not just money. And after you love it, I think you have to open your eyes to, to look more of this world, not just not just on the internet, maybe just maybe on the street when you see some something special on the streets. It can be also an inspiration. Mm -hmm.